Any metro unit within the vicinity of 204 Elgin. Alright, we'll go and get some fuel. Cross up San Andreas Avenue. Ten four three twenty metro. Three two zero. Three two zero. Can I have you in route to nearest postal two zero four Elgin Avenue, cross of San Andreas Avenue, for a suspicious person? He is a whiskey mic wearing shorts and a red shirt. Copy in route from Mirror Park. Copy nine two three. Can you assist three twenty three twenty for me, please? Ten four three five ten four. Copy, be advised, he is running down south. Running, question, he's running on San Andreas Avenue. Suspicious person. County with the One three five. Ten zero ten seven ten forty two. One three five ten zero ten seven ten forty two twenty three twelve. Thank you for your service. Have a good rest of your night, sir. Metro three two zero. Three two zero. Ten ninety seven in the area. Copy. Ten ninety seven in the area. Just for you, 43 guys, uh, we have a on rotation tow that's uh, trailing him as we speak. He is uh, carjacked a vehicle at this at this time. Uh, DOT 158, can you confirm? Uh, 158, can you confirm? 4 is he still at 204 Elgin? No, he uh, jacked that car in Vespucci and then took off west and made a right on Elgin. I don't know where he went after that. Copy, did you get a description of the vehicle? No, I was, I was uh, keeping my distance away from him. It, was, it looked like a gray two-door sports car. Copy, gray two-door sports car. Metro 320, I might have that subject. We're going to be south on Elgin. Copy, south on Elgin. Metro 923, I'm going to be out with them. Copy, 923. Metro 320, traffic stop. Go ahead, 320. 1050, southbound Elgin, nearest postal 396 on a four door station wagon, dark grey in colour, occupied times one. 923, we'll just do a traffic stop. Copy, Shooting you on a 1050 nearest postal 396 Elgin Avenue with a that signal 13 B signal for uh, stolen vehicle. Hi, sir. Officer Henry with the LSPD. How are you? Hey there. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Uh, not too bad, sir. You got your license, registration, and proof of insurance on you for the vehicle? Yes, I do. Hang on one second. Okay, there you go. So, I, I think I can guess why you guys are pulling me over. Um, so I locked my keys in my car, and I I had to smash the window. If you look on the registration, it is all comes back to my name. Okay. Here, I can even show you the keys. Look in the, here, they're in the ignition. Do you see my keys? Oh yeah, I see the keys there. Alright, just hang out here, sir, and I'll be back with you, okay? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. No, we're not doing that. Stupid script. Who was it? Oh, okay. Chad Mick Farlan. Read nine six Elgin Avenue. Ten four, sir. Unless uh, the station wagon is now regarded as a Tudo sports car, I doubt it. Three two zero. I believe that is going to be the number one uh, description subject in this four door station wagon. Ten four. Everyone, just continue the overhead in case they decide to bail. Metro 320, this guy has a grey jacket, he doesn't have a red shirt, but he does have red hair, so it possibly might be the same subject, it may not be though. Stand by, would you like to be there same tell for a visual uh, verification? Copy, if they want to get in contact with 923 when they get on scene. Copy, one, DOT 158, can I have you in route 396? Elgin Avenue to confirm the identity of this individual you reported. Um, DMV is going to be 85. Thank you. 85 Tango. Metro, if you can let that unit know, we're going to be right across from the toolbox medical. He can go ahead and turn the main vehicle. This car doesn't come back. Okay, down for DOP, one stop AT, copy. Copy off. Mr. Yeah, McFarlane, yeah. is that correct? That's correct, yes. Um, is there any reason why your car doesn't come back in the system? Um, I believe since it is a weekend, they were going to process the papers on the Monday. I did it when it was closing on Friday, so that's probably why it's not in the system yet. Alright, so in these documents that you gave me for the registration all that, the bill of sale and all that was in them, was it? Yes, I have all the- I even have the bill of sale still in the gold box, if you would like to see it. Yeah, that would be perfect. If you can just hand that over and we can go through that. Yeah, you bet. Okay, there you go. Okay. Uh, whereabouts are you heading to this morning? Well, so my friends were are at the hospital. I'm supposed to pick them up around front, and I parked in the wrong area. And then I, when I came back out, I realized I locked my keys in my car. Okay, simple mistake. Just hang out, be back with you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, cult. What do you, what do you, have you, you were able to hear his whole story? Uh, I only heard part of it. I couldn't hear you, uh, what you were talking about, but I could hear his responses. What, what was going on? What did he, what did he tell you? Claims that he locked his keys in the car. I see the keys in the ignition, so that looks fine. He claims he locked them in there, so he had to break the window, but... I'm I'm 99 percent sure when I came down south and I saw you down that lights. He was in that four door car back there that has its lights on. I'm positive he was in that car, and then he switched cars. So I'm not I'm not sure. I might ask him about that, but I'm pretty sure he was driving that. What kind of car is that one over there? Pretty sure it's a four door Premier, little four cylinder. Huh? Because. Yeah, the only sucky part about that is that um, the caller stated it was a different description, but man, shit, that kind of sucked. Yeah, I'm not sure about this Noel Monk call because it says grey, he's wearing the grey pants and a grey jacket, which kind of, but in the description it's a, a red shirt, but he has red shirt, uh, red hair, sorry, but he has the grey clothing, so I'm not, I'm not too sure. But he, it looks like D-O-T, D-A-T-C yeah, here now. Okay, well he can 
he can probably clear it up now since he saw him. Yeah, if he says he's fine, then I mean, he's got the legitimate paperwork here that I've just checked. The car seems to be okay, so we'll just see what he has to say, I guess. Okay, let's see. So, yes. so Officer Henry with the LSPD, this is Officer Colt. How you guys doing? Thank you. Not bad. Um, so you witnessed a gentleman steal a car, is that correct? Yeah, it's definitely not that vehicle. No, we saw this gentleman get into this car and it's got a broken window. So do you just want to do a slow walk by with this officer and just um, nod at him if it's the guy and if not then we can carry on, okay? Yeah, too easy. Yeah, that's, that's not him. That's not him? Okay. No. Okay, perfect. I do have a other question to ask you, man. There's a car down there that's uh, parked, parked right on the overpass of the freeway. Um, yeah, see it on your way back, if you can drive up there, just see if that's the car that you happen to see because... Alright, Mr. McFarlane, here's that, that, that um, bill of sale, bud. Okay, yeah, I'll go okay, take a look at that. Um, I do have a question though, that four-door um, Premier back there, did you happen to be driving that at all? Nope, I have no idea whose car that was. It was there when I came out. Okay, I might have been mistaken. I thought you were in it when I came past, but I was in a bit of a hurry and didn't really take much notice. Um, here's your license and all that back. Um, okay, thank you. Have you hurt your arm at all breaking your window or anything like that? No, I have like a... I have like a, a knife. Like, don't worry, I'm not like... Like, I use the butt end of my metal knife to, to do it. It's a utility knife that I use for work. Okay, no, no, that's okay, I understand. Thanks for letting me know you have that on. You don't have any guns or anything? No, no, I do not, ma'am. Okay, um, like I said, here's your info and all that back. I haven't really got much, um, reason to keep you here any longer. You've answered all my questions. Um, you were pretty much stopped just because you were suspicious you had a broken window and we also had a 911 call on this street, um, this street exactly, actually, to be honest, um, of a guy acting suspiciously and stole a car. That's the reason you were stopped. Oh, jeez, okay, I can see why you guys were on high, high alert. No, that was not me, trust me. Yeah, so the, the guy in the high vest, vest, he was a witness, that's the reason he walked past and all that, so... Um, but everything seems to be oh, all clear, okay. I've checked your picture, everything matches on the DMV and all that, so I haven't really got much reason to keep you here any longer, so... Once I get back to my car and shut off my lights, you're free to go, and we appreciate your cooperation today. Okay, thank you so much. No worries, have a safe one, sir. You too. I guess we'll keep looking. Yeah, it's it's not that one. That's a blue car over there. Now that I see it. Yeah, yeah. Shit shooting. All right, we'll be ten eight off of that traffic stop. Not a bad traffic stop at all. Ten four break. Metro got it all. There's at least two more. We've got multiple uh, persons on scene here. 10-4, uh, 202320 Metro. 202, South Strawberry. 320 is 10-6. 10-4, 202, can I respond? 125 Innocence, again, 125 Innocence for uh, reported garbage fire. Just need uh, pedestrian control. 10-4, standby. Is that a vehicle go down a one way street? 10-4. Go ahead. 10-4, the vehicle's back on all fours. I uh, switched out to a different vehicle. I'll be back to me. Have a quick look here at the digital den. Gentlemen. How you doing, pretty lady? Uh, not too bad, sir. Um, I'm... I just, I moved back here and I, I sold my computer, but I, I kind of want to buy a new laptop. You got any laptops? We got plenty. We got, uh, we got uh, the older styles, we got the newer styles. 
We've got ones with porn on it. Okay, we don't need anything with porn, sir. I just need a new, a brand new laptop, and uh, enough to do my paperwork and stuff like that. Okay, okay. Uh, let, let me go, let me go check uh, the back quick. Let me see what what we got back there. Okay, yeah, well, it looks like you got a couple right here. 218, India 111 direct. Yeah, you can look at, look at those. I'm going to check the back. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, All this stuff is, you know, legal, a, correct? Our, uh, it's not stolen or anything like that? that we were working on. Not to our knowledge. Did you say not to your knowledge? Well, that's reassuring. Tim 4, I'll be over there as soon as I finish dealing with this uh, hey, other call. They bring it in, and, you know, we offer a price. I submit my paperwork to the police department with the serial numbers. Nobody comes looking for this stuff, so... As far as I'm concerned, that means legitimate. Oh, is this like a pawn shop or something? Is it? I thought it was a. Is that what this is? It's a pawn. Pawn. Yes, it pawn, is. Pawn, pawn, prawn, pawn shop, whatever. Right? Yep. Okay, yep. So people bring in the, what they want and, you know, you guys buy it off them. Exactly. Okay. Sorry, did it's you. It's a totally legitimate business. Yeah. Was there any new laptops out the back there, sir? I didn't. I didn't have a new one. I didn't have a new one. So all we got right there, there is what we got. Okay. So these all look in pretty good condition, though. They're not too old by the looks of this one here in the middle, with the blue and green screen. All right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How much is that one? Um. Let me check here. Let me get the tag. All right. Let me check the tag. Metro 202. Go ahead. Uh, do you still need me to roll over to 125? Uh, just finish for the verbal warning. Uh, looks like it's gonna be, uh... $150. $150? Okay. Does that come in a, a bag or something? No, no, no. We don't no. have bags. I mean, I'm sure we can find one. You sweetheart, I'll, I'll find a bag for you. For free. Hold on. Be detaining individuals here on scene. Ten four. Uh, two zero two metro. I think. Copy. Uh, will you roll into that? Oh. Two hundred and fifty dollars. I think that's how we can do it. I'll give you a little bit extra there because um, you guys are giving me a good laptop by the looks of it. Oh, okay, okay. Did you want us to uh, do a reset on it? Clean uh, it up, or no, no, the... it's fine. I'll do all that. I, oh. all right. Shannon, would yeah. you like a receipt? Ah, uh, yes, a receipt would be a very, very good idea, sir. Uh, and here, here's a nice leather. Because if this, if I find out this is stolen or anything, because you weren't very reassuring to me, black suit. If I find out this is stolen, I'm going to come back here. I'm going to come back here with a search warrant. I'm going to kick down doors. I'm going to search this place until I find enough to lock all of you up. Do you understand? You, you find out it's stolen, you need to talk to your pawn, your burglary detectives. Because like I said, I submit my forms. They don't come knocking and saying, hey... That was reported stolen. Okay, I'm just letting you, you, you boys come know. Down my door I, time okay, I'm lesbian, sir. So sorry to disappoint you. Um, so oh, I'll man. I'll take the laptop and I'll be on my way, boys. Okay, okay. You have a great night. You, you gentlemen have a, an amazing night. Okay, thanks for the thanks for the laptop. You guys be safe. Thank you, man. Thanks for the uh, knowledge. Did you did you say my name, sir? Oh, see. So okay. Wow. All right. So that's how it's going to be. Yeah. I mean, you broke up with me and then you expect me to be all nice and all that when you haven't called or anything. You just said, we are D-O-N-E done. And then you expect me to be all nice to you. They should be clear. We're talking to the last two. I think going to break up. Should we call the police? Me either. So, Officer King, what is it? Are, like, are, are, we, are we meant to know each other or not? Well, I... I thought that There's we did, but uh, I mean, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I guess maybe I never really knew you. Well, I thought I knew you, and then you just broke up with me. Nothing, just we're D O N E done, and you did this at Rex's diner. <laughs> Dude, boss, boss. I don't think we should be doing this in here. Boss, she became. 
Okay, I'm sorry that I was a little judgmental, but I'm still a little hurt by this, okay? I move here and then you surprise me out of the blue. I'd surprise you. I was going here because they got some sick beat droppers in there. I was gonna get something to, you know, for for dropping beats, and I I didn't expect to see you here. I didn't know that you were gonna be here. Well, I didn't know you were back in the in the city. I moved back here from from the other place to get away from you so I could move on, and then here you are. Get away from me. Oh, that's rich. Get away from me, really. Yeah, you really. broke up with me. Listen, I can't. I, I don't just, have time uh, to sit here sure and rehash all this and go through all of this again. Oh, okay, so I'm the one with all the problems. Uh, I'll be in route. Hey, hey, get back in your story, <laughs> Are you gonna still be at your traffic stop? Hey, yeah, just four, turn around, get back in the store, okay? I think he just wanted to get some. This wackadoo out here. Yeah, well, like I said, I'm sorry for being a, a bitch, but I, I don't know what you want from me. You know what? What? I'm I'm not I'm not in the mood for for a sick beat dropper anymore. You know, suddenly I've lost my urge to drop beats. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's for that, Shannon. No worries, no worries. And as for that other matter you were texting me about, she won't want to be in town. So I hope you're strongly mistaken because if that word gets out that she's here, things could go very south. No, I'm good on that. I just wanted to drop some sick beats, but suddenly I don't feel the need to drop any beats. If you want to drop beats, then go and buy some beat droppers then. No, no. No, and I'm not mistaken. I'm not mistaken. I saw her at the hospital. She was wearing scrub. She was working. You saw her at the hospital? Yeah. But, uh, Come over here now. Oh, game! You, sorry, just because people could be listening. You saw my, you saw my sister at the hospital. Yeah, she was at pillbox. She was working in scrubs, so she's been here long enough to get a job. My sister is a doctor. She she was told to stay away from here because of tamale. Hey, hang on, who's that? Hey, isn't that her right there? Isn't that her right there? That. That is her. Sarah, get your ass outside and back to the car. What the hell? Get behind my car now. You guys now. hear how she talks to people? It's not just me, right? It's not just me. <laughs> Who the hell do you think you're bossing me around like that? What the hell are you doing here? Uh, working here. What are you doing here? I told you to not move here because it's not safe. And what do you do? I find out from Ryan that you're working at a hospital here. Well, I'm a surgeon. They placed me here. You could have said no. It isn't safe. Well, what am I supposed to say? No, let them die. Let the patients die. I can't do Don't, that. don't. Don't patronize me by playing the whole I'm I'm a surgeon and I save lives crap, okay? You're the most important person that I have left in my life, and I'm not letting Tamale come after you. Oh my god. Well you... look at yourself. You're a cop. You're doing a more dangerous job than I am. Did you move here because Mum died two months ago and you thought you better come here and be closer to me? Is that really what's happening here? But what else was I supposed to do? This I don't, I don't want to be alone. This is unbelievable, and you didn't even ring me. You just moved here, and I find out from my ex? Are you kidding? Well, to be fair, I thought you were a highway. I didn't know you were city, and I was going to tell you. Oh, so if I was highway you. patrol, you wouldn't have told me. Is that what you're saying, sis? No, no, that's not what I meant. You're twisting my words. 
I, I, I'm twisting your words because I strongly told you not to move here. Do, which bit of our lives are in danger, didn't you understand? So, I yeah, see well, that you your guys life's in danger. found each Mine other Mine will be too. Yeah. Yeah, you were safer back I'm home. Safer. I don't want to be home. I, I want to be in here with you. Well, I think it's a bit late for that, isn't it now? Now I've got to put up with you. Well, yeah, because I'm staying. Yeah, well, you're staying because you're here now. Now, if you see anybody following you at work or at home or anywhere, you are to contact me. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good. You should have rang me and you should have told me you were here. I know, I know. No, well, she she ran into me earlier and started kind of bad mouthing me on this on on a scene. Uh, I did. Oh, know. really? All I said was I had nothing nice to say, so I'm not going to say anything at all. Oh, so what exactly did happen at the hospital? Yeah, let's not talk about that one. Oh no, we're going to talk about it because I'm, I'm kind of curious now because Ryan just said that you had some not nice things to say. No, no, about me. She said it about me. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware, sugar. I've got some not nice things to say about you as well, but I'll keep my mouth shut too, you know. Listen, this is an interrogation on me. How lo Ryan, how long did you know she was in the city? I, I literally didn't even know that she existed until earlier on shift today. Okay, so you, you, literally, you legitimately found out and then you contacted me. I'm glad. At least you were honest and you contacted me right away, unlike you, Sarah. Well, I mean, to okay, be, you know to be fair, it was not... at the end of my shift. Sarah, how long have you been this in the city? This is not what I was expecting, like... This is not like... No, you are not walking away. How long have you been in the city for? Two weeks. Two... Two weeks! And you're only just... I've only just found out. Are you kidding? I kind of didn't want you to know. I didn't want you to Oh, no, me. no. It would have been better that Tamali found out you were here and then I had to come down to the hospital because you'd been shot to death. That would have been much better to hear. Are you this kidding? This is your fault. It's Why not, it's not his fault. It's your fault for not telling me. It's a secret. You know what? This is not how I wanted this day to go. I'm just gonna no. go. No. Yeah, go home and lock yourself in the house and you contact me if you need me and I will make contact with you. Okay? I love you, but I'm not happy at the moment. Well, I have to get back to the hospital. Well, get back to the hospital and save lives, I guess. You can't just keep her locked up, though. I'll do anything I have to do to protect the ones I love. You of all people should know that. Good. Was that car clear to leave? I was a little too mean, wasn't I? I don't think that she. I don't think that she's doing yeah, okay in there. I was too mean, wasn't I? I think you were signature. Sh you went signature Shannon on her. Okay, I know. I know I'm a hard ass. Okay, I, I can't help it. Yeah, was that the Evo? Sarah, wind down the window. It is down. Okay, I I'm sorry. Okay, I know I'm a bitch and I'm a I'm a hard ass and I'm a tough cop and blah 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 and I know everyone else isn't the same and I apologize. Okay, this is my way of saying sorry. You fifty-six mission. Oh, okay. Thank you. You can uh, see where I'm coming from, though, don't you? Yes, I know. Okay, I love you, and like I said, I'm sorry. But I'm still, I'm still a little bit angry with you, and I've got to process this, okay? So goodbye. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> what an interesting scene. So, can I ask you a, a serious question? Uh, I guess. Why didn't you tell me about her? Hang on, let me just put this in the back of the car.
I didn't tell you about it because I don't know. Okay, I keep secrets, and I'm I'm a bad I'm I'm the bad guy. I know. Okay, I keep secrets. Okay, there. I admit it. I'm protective. I'm secretive, and I'm a bitch. Okay. Well, I mean, we've got, I mean, maybe at least two of those things, but, I mean, come on, not all of them. It, it was easier to just keep it a secret than tell everyone that I have a sister, okay? Tamali already got to you, he already kidnapped you, and... What? I don't see... I don't see what the big deal is. Because the more people that know about Sarah, the more people Tamali kidnaps and interrogates, he finds out where Sarah is and stuff. I hid her away, okay? Alright. I know, I should've... I should've said something, I know. Metro 68. Go ahead. I, might, I just wanted to protect her and I wanted to protect everyone else. Uh, random. Awesome. Uh... Situation. Alright, I guess I get it. 10-4. All units are clear at the time. I'm sorry. What was that? What was that? I'm sorry? Can you speak up? I'm not sure I heard you. No, I'm, I'm not saying it again, Ryan. Alright, I, I am... Well, I'm guessing that you probably have to get back to work. Yes, I am somewhat apologetic, and I really need to get back to work, so... It was nice seeing you, even though I still think you, you're a bit of a jerk, but you have a good one, okay? I'll see you around. See you around. Maybe. Alright, we are 10 8. Technically, we've been 10 8 for ages, but we haven't been called anywhere, so we are gonna get back out on the streets. Don't know what way that truck's going. I'm not sure what he's doing. We'll just make a ride on red, you know? <laughs> 